Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy you took some time to stop by today. And my, 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 has it been a long time. I am so sorry. Um, it's been really hard for me to get back into the swing of things and to get back to filming and um, a lot's been going on and it's just been a bit of a trying time, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really trying to get back to you all because I miss it and it's therapeutic for me to be filming and so I really wanted to film tonight. So that's a good sign. Um, <laughs> but I really appreciate all of your continual support and um, understanding uh, while I took my little um, unplanned and... <laughs> not really knowing I was going to do that uh, YouTube hiatus, but here I am back again. Um, so I just wanted to share kind of recent purchases that I made um, because I'm super excited about them and I want to start using them. Uh, an item here I did cheat and I have used um, but I'm ready to show it now. Um, so the first thing I wanted to share kind of is my beautiful a Lululemon camera bag. I love this bag in the black with gold hardware. Um, I had filmed an unboxing on this video, uh, on this bag. I posted the video and the sound was just not working, which is really weird because I had edited that video, but I don't know if somehow I edited the sound out and I didn't have access to my video anymore, so I wasn't able to repost it. That demotivated me and frustrated me. <laughs> but this bag, I have loved, I've loved. I've been really trying to get into more casual uh, vibe and, um, and this bag is awesome for an everyday. It's perfect for rainy season. Um, it's super, super roomy and it's super, super cute and not heavy. Like this is going to be such an awesome travel bag. My gosh. So this is what it looks like just shoulder, which is not the kind of thing I do very often, but it's cute as heck. So I could, and then it's really, really easy to adjust. You just have this buckle that just slides and you adjust it to the length that you want. So if I want to wear it crossbody, it's just so cute and easy and ugh, I love this bag. So I will link it below. Um, it's very pillowy and it has two compartments and a slip pocket here. So this is where I put my phone. Um, and no feet and it's just in this really nice waterproof or water resistant uh, nylon and then you have the zippers here that say lululemon on both sides so um the way i have it packed is in the front i have like those essentials that i need to access so my wallet my coins my key holder in there um my mirror, my hand sanitizer, and a lippy. And then in the back compartment, I could fit a pouch, but it's kind of just thrown in here. So I have band-aids and glasses cleaning wipes and my headphones and hand cream and extra lippies, a lip gloss, gum, uh, perfume. That's what that looks like. So, and I could fit it, I could fit quite a bit more in here. Um, and then of course my phone back here. So I love this little guy. Um, it's been really good to me. <laughs> it's been really good to me and it's been rainy uh, and uh, you know, on and off. And um, that's been, it's been very useful this time of year, I think for fall, uh, especially rainy days of fall. Then uh, let's jump into my more recent Lululemon haul. I mean, I've had this bag, what, maybe three weeks or something. And this is all like this week kind of uh, order. Um, so first thing is right here. And this is the item that I did use. And I love it. And it's just this really oversized 
sweatshirt um, that covers your bum, has the pockets, full zip. It's no um, no hood, it's just the, the neck like that. You have the Lululemon right there and you have the, um, the thumb holes there. And this one, I can't remember the name of this one. I'm going to link it because I took the tag off and I thought I had saved it, but I didn't. Um, and I, it comes in three sizes. So it comes in the extra small, small, the medium, large, or the extra large, extra, extra large, I think. So it's, so I got, for example, the medium large. Um, I could fit in the extra small, small, but I wanted that overlook, uh, that oversized look, that coziness. Um, and it's really nice fleece inside. It's super soft, super cozy. And I love this. I love this uh, so much. So it's just so comfortable has to be the most comfortable sweatshirt I own for sure. I'll be able to donate, I think, other ones in my collection because I'm gonna live in this one. So it's nice and long sleeves and poofy and covers the bum like it promises. Um, and just really cozy. And what's nice is in the pocket here, you have, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, there's a little mesh here, and this is to put your cell phone. So you can put your cell phone in your hoodie pocket and it'll stay put, which is really nice. So I just really like the, the neck and you can wear it down, you can wear it up and just... I love it like that and it's just but it doesn't have the bulky hood um, which works for me so I got this great piece and again I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna post everything down below because I have caught myself saying I'm, I'm gonna add something and post to the video too quick and not do the description box so I won't let that happen this time. All right, next up is another piece of clothing. This is outerwear. And this is what I'm very excited about because, well, I'm excited about everything, but I'm very excited about this because today was so cold. Like, well, fall season cold. Like you can tell that it was the first day of coolness. And, you know, I was in a cozy, I was in my Cayenne, Lululemon sweater and just super cozy in it, but there's wind that kind of started. So it was, it was chilly and I wished I had a jacket over my sweater. I am not gonna lie. So this is a jacket that I got. I had seen it in store. I loved it. And I had been looking for a fall, uh, a replacement poofy kind of fall coat and this one just one. Um, so I got it in size 10. And this is called the Pack It Down jacket in the long because they have a shorter version. It has a hood that you can remove. And it's just so cute. So I'm gonna unzip it. Put it on. I love this coat, it just feels so nice on. And then, it's cute and I love that it's fitted. It has like a nice hourglass shape. The sleeves are nice and long. Um, and it just really, like it's longer than my arms has a two-way zip, so you could zip from the bottom. And then you have the pockets. This pocket, again, in the right pocket has that same 
mesh piece to put your phone. And then in this pocket, I have this pouch because you can pack your coat in a pouch um, so that it's easier if you want to pack. Um, so it's, it's awesome. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's so cozy. It's just a perfect fall, pre-winter kind of jacket. So, hooray. I'm thrilled. And it's so, um, it's so lightweight. So, I love these kind of poofy coats in the fall. I just really love it. Um, and I had to go with black. I won't, you know, ever be disappointed with black. So I will link that coat below as well. And then my next outerwear purchase um, will be a new parka this winter, but I don't know. I'm going to wait and see the... I'm thinking about Aritzia, the super, super long one. I'm going to wait uh, around Black Friday and see the promos for that. But yeah, excited about this coat. And I just love that beautiful waistline it gives, that hourglass shape. That's what sold me on that coat. Okay. And then, what do I have left in here? Okay. I had been looking at this and looking at this and looking at this. I ended up just buying it. And it is this wristlet with the two pouches. I really loved the pouches. Um, so I thought we're going to play with these and see what fits so that I can organize this bag a little bit. So I'm super excited. I could carry them like this. Maybe I will one day, but I'm really going to use the two pouches. Um, they have clippies. So even if I want to use, let's say my speedy, I could clip these inside and I can clip them on a bag, use it as a little bag charm or um, kind of like you would a clay. So, but at a very, very, very affordable price. So I love this. And the last Lululemon item in here, I had to, I had to get this. And it is the new fleece uh, belt bag in the black. So they came in the cream, like an off-white. It came in a darker brown which i really liked as well but of course i went with the black because i'm not going to be disappointed and i'm i don't want this in every color so i went for the black and it has this really chunky gold buckle which i like the gold zipper and that gold logo and it's super super cozy obviously i'm not going to wear this any days that it's raining but for a nice fall day yes so this is the regular size. It didn't come in the um, two liter. So this is what it is, the Everywhere Belt Bag in fleece. Um, and it has that back pocket, just like the other belt bags. It's the same, same organization. It's just that the front has the fleece and it has the gold buckle instead of the black plastic buckle. Um, so I have one liter, well, the regular belt bag, and I have the two liter, uh, which is the larger one. I love both um, for different times. Um, if I need to carry more, I'm gonna carry that two liter one, but I do prefer the look of the one liter or the, the regular belt bag. I just think it's so cute. So the way I like to wear these is Just gonna adjust it here. Okay, keep. It's so easy to adjust. It's 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 a nice design. I love this uh, this design here in terms of the adjustments. It's great. Okay, let's just try them out. And it's so cute with that gold buckle right there. Or if you wear it longer and you want to wear it kind of like a bag, but 
I'll just wear it like this. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I loved it last year. Saw it everywhere. Didn't buy it. And this year, it just came out this week. And I grabbed it. So, yeah. But I'm, I wanted to change into it. But I won't because it's going to be raining tomorrow. But it's going to be nice this weekend. So I'll film um, a pack my belt bag with me. And we'll take things out of this bag and put it into this bag so we can see what fits. Because this is a two liter bag. They, they call this the two liter um, camera bag. So it's about the same size as the two liter bum bag. So being a one liter, it's gonna be a nice, give you a good idea of the difference um, of what fits and how to kind of organize our space with this guy. So I love it and I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, so um, I want to already use these. So I'm just going to unclip these and put the um, wristlet parts aside. It's so cute. It has the little logo right there. And then this has the little metal logo with the clip that also has Lululemon written on there. It's just like that. And the same idea with this one. It has the Lululemon on the zipper, Lululemon on the clip here, and that spring clip. Okay, so we have this one. We have this one that I'll take the stuffing out of. Okay, so let's take things out of my camera bag. Okay, first off, let's try with this one. I'm going to put like the flatter stuff in here. So like glasses, cleaning wipes. I always have those with me. I have a couple random tissues that I put a new pack in my bag. So those are in there. I'm going to put in blister band-aids for heels because I'm breaking in some shoes right now and... I've been getting blisters in my heels, but it's already getting better. I'll get there. Okay, I have that. What else do I have in here? My little toothpick things that I like for my teeth. I'm gonna put in my nail clipper, which I always carry with me in case. Okay, we're looking good. Where do I have hair ties? Some hair ties. Okay, what can I fit in here to keep it flat? How about this one? Uh, let me change the kind here. Okay, let's say these tubes, okay? I love these little tubes that I bought. I might like a pouch like this out on Amazon. And then when I buy a lotion that I love, I just fill it in here and then it comes with a little tip. So because so if they're for lip gloss, but I use them for hand cream and then you have the, the cap and then I just make my own little label with my label maker. So this one is Chanel Numero 5 Low, and the one I just had in my bag was Bath and Body Works White Pumpkin and Chai. It smells like fall. It's so nice. Oh, I love that smell so much. So um, I think I'm going to keep it in there <laughs> for now because it smells like fall and it's fall weather. So I'm thinking that could slip in here too. Yeah, so it fits right in there and it zips right up. So that's gonna be my first pouch. And then in this one, okay, so what do I have left in here? Um, okay, so let's do a perfume. I'm just gonna lay it down. Um, lip gloss. Okay, can I fit another lippy? I can fit a third lippy on there. Does it? Okay, it kind of gets stuck at the corner. 
but probably depending on the lip, lip product, a smaller lip balm would likely work. Um, maybe I'll just put in my scrunchie here in this one. I could have put my hand cream if I wanted to. So let's say take another one of my hand creams and just put that in here with that fit. This one kind of sticks out there. So I think it's a way of a matter of how you organize it, but okay, maybe I'm just gonna put my headphones in there. Let me just, I really need to get <laughs> some AirPods. I need to get with the times, but okay, so I'm just gonna put those in there like that. Just I'm just stuffing them in, okay? And maybe another little a travel perfume I like these so this is a um Coco Mademoiselle so often when I buy Chanel Beauty I'm gonna ask for the Coco Mademoiselle sample because I love that perfume I have that perfume um but it's nice to have the small version for my bag okay so that's all organized and now the only thing I had left in here that was kind of loose was the half part of my gum that was left and two lippies. Other than that, it's all organized. So now I can just slip these pouches in here. Oops, not in the pocket. In there. In there. And throw my lippies in there. And I feel like it's a little bit less messy there. So that's so nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Yay. I'm so happy for that little piece. So this is the dual pouch wristlet. Again, I will link it down below. Now that I'm using the pouches though, I'm not sure how I'll use this. Maybe I'll buy um, like on Amazon small spring loops. Um, like I have gold ones. I'm pretty sure I can find some um, gunmetal kind of ones. And then I can clip this on a bag, like on my backpack, for example, and it can just become like a a bag charm or something, but I'll find a use for this. This is not lost. So I ended up ordering little gunmetal rings on on Amazon. Um, and it works perfectly to attach the wristlet part of those pouches I bought. And I attach it to my backpack as like a bag charm, which I like. And then when I leave, I'm also going to attach the other zipper to this hoop. So at the same time, it kind of locks my backpack for when I'm going in the metro. Um, so I'll be sure nothing will fall out. So I just wanted to show you that I did end up getting some and, you know, in two day shipping and it worked perfectly. I'll link them below. And last but not least are some beauty products. So like I was just saying, I love Coco Mademoiselle. I have my Coco Mademoiselle here. It's um, almost done. I've worn this fragrance for years and years and years. This is my original classic scent. I think it's alternating between this and the Tiffany uh, Rose Gold. I love those scents. And in the summer, the um, Hermes or Jardin Sur le Toit. Those are definitely my top three but the longest standing, and I mean since my young 20s, is Coco Mademoiselle. I adore this perfume. I've gone through so many of these. This is l'eau de parfum, not the eau de toilette, and I just love it. So, me being uh, the kind of gal that loves to have the matching lotion to my, uh, my fragrances, I don't do the body wash and all that but I do buy the matching lotions uh, when I can, when they are available. So I've always wanted this and I've never bought it. And now I did, I had some bay points and I got the Coco Mademoiselle lotion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these tubes and I'm going to make my little label and I'm gonna have a little fragrance tan cream for in my purse. So I'm just trying to find the different pieces here to show you. Alright, so it comes with the clear tube. You have the little P 
piece there that you just press in when it's full. And then you have the screw top cap. So I'm gonna fill that up with the hand cream and then I have the bottle in my bathroom and this in my purse, which will be so nice. So I am not waiting. And that way I don't have to, I like to have a small version of a hand cream and ah, a really nice and affordable way to have a nice hand cream um, with you is to use these tubes. If I, if I can, I'll, I'll post those as well from Amazon because they've come in super, super handy. And I mean, I've used these for um, like putting body wash in, for example, and then traveling with that. Or when I went to the spa, for example, I had a little tube like this, or if I go away for the weekend and I put my body wash in there, I can put my shampoo, my conditioner, and I identify them with my label maker. Um, it keeps falling. I, just like I did with these. It's nothing fancy, but it helps me uh, know which is which. And and then I can, I can uh, have compact nice products with me on the go. So this is the bottle of the lotion uh, Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris Emulsion Hydratante pour le corps, so moisturizing body lotion. And then in the back, it's white on white, so you won't be able to see it. Um, and then it is a screw top and the little squirter. So let me see if I can kind of demonstrate. I won't do the whole thing here, but I can just kind of squirt it in there. So like that, and then I kind of just knock it to make it fall. I can just finish it up here while I'm at it. And then I'll do my label after. Um, and this kit also comes with a syringe if for, for um... okay, so we're good. Um, so now it's full with my uh, Coco Mademoiselle lotion. And then I just take my little tip here and I just press it in. There we go. And then it's just gonna have a little, see it has a little tip there if I just kind of press it up and a little bit of cream came out. And then I can just... So yeah, and I'm just gonna take a little bit there. There we go. So I have my beautiful, uh, amazing smelling cream. I'm so excited about this. So I'm gonna make my label after. And then I have this in my bathroom with the gold CC. So that's awesome. So excited about that. And, mm, and I love lotions more than creams, than body creams. I mean, body creams can be nice in the winter, but I still find them too heavy. So hooray for that. And my little Coco Mademoiselle cream for in my bag. And last but not least, I did buy a perfume and you might find me crazy, but I love Coco Mademoiselle, as I said, and I tried, I've been trying the Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I love the Coco Mademoiselle Intense as well. It's so nice. It's, it smells very, very similar to Coco Mademoiselle with an extra kick. Like I can, that one's, that one stays on my skin. I feel longer. I think I had a hair. Okay. So I decided to buy the twist and spray of the Coco Mademoiselle Intense, but this is so cute. It's mini, okay? It is teeny tiny. So it's the size of a lipstick versus the regular Coco Mademoiselle twist and spray, which is very cool. Let me take out um, a Chanel lipstick. It's very similar. So um, I liked the idea because it's already in a Travelo kind of size. My, uh, those Travelo perfume sprayers that I love. So I decided to go with this. And um, if I like it, great. And um, you know, maybe down the line, when I'm done both all of my refills of Coco Mademoiselle and these, maybe I'll just buy a regular bottle of the Coco Mademoiselle 
etals and then fill out a regular travel low or maybe I'll just stick to this we'll see but it's a teeny tiny sprayer and then you have the two refills here so you have it's already filled and then you have the two extra so it comes with um, these mini bottles like that Oh, I love these so much. Okay, let me just put that back. Okay, so the Coco Mademoiselle Parfum Intense. And then you have the baby. And if I compare it to my lipstick, it really is. It's a tad bigger than a lipstick, but you can say it's about the size of a lipstick. And it is twist and turn. And then when you want to refill them, you just pull this out, you pull that out, and you clip another one in, cluck. Um, and then you just put it back in. So it's a very easy to do. There we go. And you just twist it closed. So I'm so excited to have the mini um, Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, Intense, and it'll be in my purse. So actually, might as well do that because in here I had put the um, take out everything I had in here. Okay, I had my Traveló. So if we want to compare kind of the size of the Traveló, it's about the same. The Traveló is a bit higher, but obviously slimmer. Um, but it's it's a good comparison in terms of sizing. So if I wanted to carry this in here, so let's say I'll put my gloss on the bottom and then my Traveló right there, my little perfume on top, and then put in my scrunchie, but not my headphones, let's do that. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Okay, and that closes right up so that way if it's gonna spill because I'm just gonna put this in any other bag it, it, it'll keep it dry so awesome I am so happy and now my little hand cream which will go right there in my bag as well So there we go. That is my recent haul that I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you think. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's a bunch of randomness, just a bunch of stuff, um, but I was very excited about it and I really, really wanted to share with you. Um, super, super excited for these. Super excited for my coat and my sweatshirt and can't wait to probably wear this this weekend when it's not raining. Um, I'm just very, very happy. Fall's fun uh, for like coziness, but I just have a couple little pieces I need to find for my wardrobe. Um, but other than that, I'm doing pretty well and I'm good on the casual side now as well. Um, I'm not, I didn't show them to you, but I also bought like a pair of just plain black vans, like slip-ons. Um, those are comfortable. I have loved those. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would love vans, but I do. So I've been wearing those a ton. Um, so there we go. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here, for watching, for supporting me. And for reals, I am going to see you very, very soon. I am sending you such big hugs.